Wow, it's a blitz. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first round match of the World Cup between Eelm and Notorious Noob. And Eelm, well, Notorious Noob won the kick and chose to receive, but Eelm has got a blitz. Now, Notorious Noob is lucky that it's right behind the tree. Um, he had done a little bit of an anti blitz setup, but not too much. Um, so, for a bit of background, Eelm. Qualify what well, was one of the three qualifiers from Ligue Francaise de BB and has a 60% win rate in champs overall, but hasn't played well, has played one game with Necromantic in Champs Ladder. And um, now I don't know how much he plays in leagues, of course. And uh, hey, but there you go. Notorious New, on the other hand, is has got a 79% win rate with Wood Elves and 71% overall in Champs Ladder. And he won Champs Ladder last se um, season 14. He won Champs Ladder. That's how he qualified. And he won with Dwarves. So, uh, you know, obviously he can use different teams. Um, I'm surprised he chose to receive after winning the kick. I would have thought he wouldn't have the way I, you know, I chose to kick. Um, I think Ducky chose to kick or, or would have chosen to kick. One, one of the two. Obviously... Eelm from this blitz has just based everyone up because not everyone's got dodge. Rough, rough to roll the one on the pickup after, after uh, the blitz, but got to use the reroll there. Um, I quite like Notorious Noob's team build. He's gone for the two rerolls, the same as me. Um, though I'm not, sh I, I think it's really up for debate whether two rerolls or reroll an apple is better. I think it's too close to call. Just personal preference. He's gone tackle strip leader, which pretty much everyone did, and then he's uh, gone wrestle on the lineman, which I wish I had done. <laughs> I really wish I'd done that, but I didn't. And uh, he's playing against Eelm, yeah, Eelm with his necro. Now I really don't like necro. I've yet to find a build that I liked. It's obviously nice to all blitz and removals. He's only got two re rolls. Both werewolves. One hasn't even got a skill. One's gone block mighty blow. Two guard. Two guard. Get White is all right. <laughs> I mean, Fuck off. I just think I would have gone block on the wolf maybe instead of the flesh or maybe instead of the fleshy. Gone block on the other wolf. I think or, re or wrestle on the other wolf. I think you really want skills on wolves like blocking skills to make them more reliable. You know, with with strength three frenzy. But I guess this is one of the better Necro builds. 13 players. So they can, you know, they've got a bit of... A bit of... Kind of... Re they can foul a bit and they've got a bit of reliability against removals. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm never, I never... I have seen... Oh, he got a turn one route as well. So we've got a turn one route and a failed pickup after getting blitzed on. <laughs> but Wood Elves are one of the teams that can recover from that, aren't they? So, he gets the removal straight back, and I think removing a guard white is probably better than removing a, a lineman. Just choosing to punch the uh, werewolf away, of course, or the armor raid could easily get a removal on him. Bit, bit risky there, having, having players stuck on the fleshy, but they were dodge players, so... It wasn't so risky. The fleshies are really good against uh, against the strength three, like you know the agility teams. Not not so good in the bash matchups, or like versus, you know, say undead or orcs or whatever or dwarves. But the stand firm is is can be a nightmare against elves, I think. So, yeah, it's it's a bit it's a strange thing, isn't it? Because the blitz has kind of forced um, Eon to kind of go contact here a bit, hasn't it? 
But he's managing to kind of like recover into a more normal defense here, I think. And the wrestle gives him a reliable blitz there, although although block could have gotten a knockdown. It is nice having reliable reliable blitzes you can make from not a war dancer, isn't it? And then obviously really good chance of uh against block sure hands guys that you can strip them. See this is the thing he gets stuck in and gets he gets blocked because of this this fleshy. It was a bit of a bit of a commitment blocking him. Then what can you do? You know, you, you either feed him somebody or you get stuck on him. There's not really much else you can do. I like going over to one side to get the tree relevant. I mean, he stopped, he stopped uh, the fleshy moving around last turn, even though he's rooted. But I mean, great, great stand firm here. Normally, normally flesh golems are overcosted black orcs, but the 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 stand firm has stopped him getting pushed into the tree and tied up a bunch of players. Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! Oh dear. Thanks for that, Sean. So he's not getting great block dice here, is he, Eel? Um, although, he, although he got the blitz. Since then, he hasn't had great dice. Wrestle against the against the block, brilliant. I mean, obviously not relevant, but it could have been into the tree. Very good. Would have got a three dice with mighty blow on him on a push, and still gets him in a tackle, a very good tackle zone. So yeah, go in. I don't think maybe would have gone one one to the left there. Probably doesn't matter too much, and, no, base, base, and again, it's probably. But I mean, I he's letting him getting based. He'd be let, he's letting him get in based by a fleshy. Whatever happens, um, maybe he's well, maybe he's would have gone here, so that you would have had a block from a from the war dancer. But um, fleshy's going to try and base him, isn't he? For sure. Yeah, you'd have had a screen then as well, wouldn't you? I, th I think I think standing here would have been better, or at least one left. Maybe he should have gone more. Yeah, he's done a bit of a half man's there with these two out, but you really don't want your ghouls punched. He's just going to dodge away then, by the looks of it. Okay. I mean, you know, like, I would have got the fleshy. I would have tried to stop him. I would have tried to stop him getting the fleshy in. Wow. <laughs> I realised he fucked up. <laughs> he stood there and then he's like, no, I'll get served. Move back. That was brilliant. Um... I would have got the fleshy in there, even though you know it's only one in thirty-six. He's only got, he's got two rerolls. There's a one in six chance of using a reroll. That's all right, um, and you know it gets the other guys as well. Turn five. He's recovered quite well in the end, hasn't he? The only problem is this this wood this uh, war dance is going to get punched. A mighty blow, presumably. He's, he's gonna have to. He's just gonna have to. Yeah, go there, and then he's got two assists for the first block, and then the fleshy for the second one. So he's gonna get like six dice on this dancer. No AV break though. 
And he's got the yeah. I, I, I think I think the block on the fleshy is a kind of a bad choice just because I'd have rather had a skill on the on the wolf rather than rather than a different skill on the fleshy. But that it's just part of the problem with necros is that they just can't get everything they want. Wow. Well, that was uh, that was good for him, wasn't it? <laughs> But I mean, it completely fair, attrition-wise, really, isn't it? A Kazna KO compared to a KO so far. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy that Necro are tier two in this, and they get five normals and 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 a double, and they still feel like they need more skills. Whereas, Wood, wood Elves with three skills seem fine. And in my game against the Dwarves. I was essentially no skills, well, one skill with the leader, but only no skills on the players, um, and it still felt all right. <laughs> I guess that just goes to show the difference in in early power between Necro and Wood Elves. It was, it was a three plus, so it wasn't a double one. Trying to get through, but still, that, that that's elves, isn't it? They they mess around for the first six turns, and then all of a sudden they're on occasion on the other side of your team. He committed that wolf, and he got a cast from it. But if he'd kept the, the wolf back, he could have done something here, couldn't he? I guess he still got the wolf to blitz and uh, base the ball. Oh God, a, a death. Now, now, notorious noob starting to get unlucky because that is a double, double play, two player swing, isn't it? Like dodgeball, that's a two man swing. And so was now, you pretty much got to get some fouls in now, hasn't you, over the necro? Because that extra player is 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 huge. He's got too many players. The <laughs> the wood elves aren't going to uh, air. And there's a there's a there's a there's a, conveniently there's a war dancer here just as you want to foul more. So I would have fouled him with two or three assists. He's choosing to to go back. I mean, I think this doesn't do anything. I would have put him there to stop him getting a two plus dodge out. Or I would have just got the assist for the foul. But yeah, I think he had to I think that was absolutely right to foul there. Um with having so many players on the bench now. Yeah, it doesn't have the tackle option. And just dodges to score. No? Oh, one at a time. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yeah, because of course, yeah, there was a dodge roll. So, yeah, that's why I didn't do any at first. So, wow, Necro have got a chance for the 2 1 at half time. Unbelievable, Jeff. I guess he just thought he couldn't. He couldn't screen there. Or maybe he could screen, but he would get surfed, wouldn't he? And then maybe jam too hard. But um, one of the worst times to score, really, isn't it? Turn seven for Wood Elves because you don't get the steal, steal chance back. An opponent does have a chance to score in two. Although he's although he's agility three, he does have movement eight. But uh, and Notorious Noob is down three players as KO didn't recover. Which I just realised I could answer questions from chat here. Um, Onania saying, "What races do you think benefit from the most as the World Cup progresses? And extra skills added." Um, I would say the you know obviously the tier one. Oh, a riot or oh, lost a turn. <gasps> oh, that is unlucky, isn't it? That is unlucky for the Necros. <laughs> do they, you know, that could have gone the other way, and they could have had a three-turn chance. Or they could have just not been screwed and had a two-turn chance. That was really unlucky for the Necros. Um, 
What 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 teams benefit more from the later skills? I would say teams that need more skills to start with, and teams with good access. I'll talk about it after the after the thing. I don't know when is it. It's hard to say, really, isn't it? Teams that get good value from more doubles, teams that are under skilled to start with. But even then, it's all just opinions and uh, stuff. That is, it, what's also harsh for uh, Elm is he didn't get to claw the tree there, did he? Because he'd set up to two turn. Maybe he should have clawed the tree as his blitz. Yeah, lizard, lizards are an obvious one because they get a block your sure hand skink and they get to fill up all the skills on the Saurus, yeah. There you go, Kaz. I mean, you can't blame him. He's, the, the, the death was actually pretty key. Not normally, what happens to somebody in res doesn't matter. Get but the, fucked, but you the little death, cunt. <laughs> the death giving him an extra reserve means that he just really wants to foul as much as possible now. And uh, there's definitely the possibility of the old death spiral for Notorious Noob now. Starting the second half with eight players. I think eight is where. I think nine oh, on defense anyway. Nine isn't very good. I think on defense ten is all right. On offense, I think nine is all right. And I think below that point, you st you're starting to struggle, even as Woody's. Um, I'll do that after the game, Big TA and his under. Also, I'll campaign for two of each race as well before I do my pick. So. <laughs> <laughs> Extra reward. Yeah, you know, it makes you wonder if he had an apple, would he have appled the death, or would he have appled one of these badly hurts before it? I think the catcher got badly hurt or something first. That was a miss next game, so he probably wouldn't have appled the miss next game. And then I think the death came next, didn't it? So he might have appled that just to stop giving the uh, necker another player. Because 14 players means there's lots of fouling. And I think uh, I think that's the thing. I think um, when you think about it, you know, Sage has, Sage has gone with a 14-man team and he is going to get to foul a lot against Woodells. Maybe that's, the, maybe that, you know, that's how he thinks he's, he's going to beat Woodells by a lot of fouling. And, you know, casting half of their team is certainly a... Certainly a, a viable tactic, but somewhat luck-based, isn't it? Well, very luck-based. Yeah, he didn't have 14, though. He didn't start with 14, Nectar, and he got, he got the 14th because of this kill, so... But yeah, maybe he could have... So he, he went 13, but he would have had to have 11 to get the third reroll. So it's really hard. It's really hard for um, for Necro. And not just one reroll for seven turns. He's got one reroll for potentially overtime, hasn't he? Because he's 1-0 down. Best case for the Necro now is overtime. So I, I just really don't like Necro as a choice. You can't not have ghouls. You can't not have rerolls. I just think they're a bad choice. <laughs> Blitzing without block. Whoa. And I guess I'm going to see another foul, maybe from a dodge. Can't block here, can he? Wow. That's a, he don't stand firm. <gasps> he didn't... He, he, he stood firm. I would, I would have not stood firm there. Oh, I guess he could one dice him again, but I would have not stood firm. I mean, it's not good. To good it's not a good ad. It's, it's not like it's a... It's not a huge criticism. I would have just not stood firm. 
and then I'll, either he follows and you've got two fleshies on the tree, or he doesn't follow, and you're not you have you're not getting one deed by block again. Well, it wasn't a shocking. I, mean, I, I did go, <gasps> but it wasn't it wasn't really a shockingly poor decision or anything. It's just unexpected by me. It doesn't make it bad or wrong, does it? Yeah, now he's got the assists. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's not gonna wolf it. I'd have been tempted to wolf it there if I was him. Just, just to use the claw. <laughs> claw mighty blow is pretty good. Like, I mean, he's he's just a mighty blow block frenzy guy, isn't he? Really, at this game, unless he hits the tree. That's still a good player, he doesn't have to hit the tree. This is a long way for this last guy to go, isn't it? I would have wanted to double GFI there, I think. Ah, uh, the strips. The strip's nearby, he might go for a... I probably can't reach, can he? No. Just about out of range of the stripper, I think. No. But it, it's a little bit... Not desperate for Notorious New, but it's it's bad, isn't it, with eight players. One of them's a tree, and he's already kind of sidelined now. He's He's got past the tree. If he, if he could have... If you could have kept him in front of the tree, it would have been alright. And now the stand firm is looking a really good idea anyway, because he, if he was over here, it would be worse. So turn 12, still plenty of time, but it's it's horrible for it's horrible for Ian only being on one reroll, isn't it? Because best case scenario, he makes it to overtime. Alright, he goes he goes for the wolf hit now. Gets the KO. There you go. Claw mighty blow. Well, just Claw doing the thing, wasn't it? I'm a thick score, yeah. So it was both Claw and mighty blow getting that removal. So that, really, when it wasn't so relevant in a way, because I mean, it gets his players free and everything, but he had already bypassed it, which is the. That's when it's it's most annoying, isn't it? Is when it's in front of you, and you've got to kind of manoeuvre around it. Once he'd already got past it, it's not so important to blitz. I would have maybe tried to blitz somebody out in front, but I mean, notorious noobs down so many players now. And it's uh, he's going to be hard pressed to stop him. Well, Vincenzo's certainly got the experience advantage in that match, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, see, it's still, it's still a solid defence from Notorious Noob, isn't it, with hardly any players? It seems seems like he wants to go this way. I, I, would, I would go this way, I'm pretty sure. Looks like he's not gonna. Don't know, turn 13, I'd want to start getting forward. I think I would have maybe pushed a bit for, for, further forward than he's doing here. Or Leon. You know, just because he's already he's, he's got more players this side, hasn't he? So it just makes sense to go the other side. I mean, he is movement seven, but the others are movement four. So maybe he thought about it and considered it and thought this way he can support with the, with the zombies and the other way he couldn't. 
Uh, you know, although, although wolves are very fast and ghouls are fast and whites aren't slow, there's no point outrunning the zombies, is there? I thought he, he could have turned the corner a bit if he'd, if he'd gone the other way. Reroll there from Notorious New. Because they're both down. Essentially greeted into a Kaz. Oh, Regen. With f three rerolls left, I mean, it might stop the score, I guess. It, you know, I'm not calling it wrong. He's, he's got to stop the score here, hasn't he? Really, Notorious Noob has to... Yeah, I'll, I like the reroll because he's got seven players on the pitch. If it goes to overtime, it's... Uh, he's got eight players max. So he probably really does want to roll the dice to stop the stop the score. But that was a that was a bad dodge fail, wasn't it? And a removal. A stun and a removal there. Gives uh, Elm all the, all the space he wants to move up. Huge, huge fail there. Uh, Trud Trudney won. He does have enough reroll for every turn left in the game, but there's definitely a definite possibility of overtime here. So there could be another eight more turns. Um, however. I think he doesn't want there to be overtime. <laughs> Even if he wins the toss, I think you know. I think he has got he has got eight players max. Um, sorry, it, he's got he's got eight players max and six players min. So he doesn't really want to have to go to overtime, does he? So he, he goes for the uphill. The strip doesn't get it. I mean, that was a bit. You've got to say that was a bit lazy by Elm, letting him, letting him get a two plus for the strip attempt. Um, he should definitely not have made it that easy to get a strip attempt on him with it, with this man advantage. Very, I would say it's very sloppy by Elm there. Gets the power. Either go three dice with a fleshy or get another assist and do it with block. I think that makes the most sense. I would. Oh god, a kill. That's huge. Even less players for. For Notorious new, I would cage with as few people as possible here, and try to get as big a foul as I could on the stripper. Because that's your big, your big threat to losing in normal time, isn't it? Two. Could have maybe had a two assist foul instead of a one assist foul. It's got a GFI. Could have had another assist there, I think. It was still a gym foul, but I, I, I like I like going for the foul there because now although he's left a a kind of easy tackle hit, it is uphill and it's not strip. You can't get a one dice. Oh, he can chain into it though. That's nice, isn't it? He can't, but it's not. It's still uphill though, unless he. Uh, Unless he did something for Oh my god, he failed the dodge and died. Oh my god, this turn. <laughs> oh crikey. Oh well that is That is that is bad, isn't it? Um The wolf's too far away so he can't surf the uh He can't surf the dancer, can he? And doesn't want to foul him either, so... Three, four, five, six, seven... He could have three dice the, the Lino there. 
maybe. Oh no, he doesn't want to because he's got a reroll. No, of course not. It's a ludicrous, a ludicrous idea to three dice there without block because it, he's playing for overtime. But wow, five cars. That sure, that sure turned from like, this is a bit unlucky to, oh my God, it's absolutely brutal. Um, yeah, that's, that's really rough for Notorious Noob now. Five cars, three dead. I mean, three dead doesn't really matter. But one, de one dead is what led to all the extra fouls, which led to more cars. And uh, he's just backlining it. It's fair enough, this is a pretty hard one turn, I think, with six players. Wow. So, is he, I don't think he was even going for the one turn, was he? Was he? He hasn't got a catcher either, has he? <laughs> He's catcherless. So he'd have had to have been a war dancer. <laughs> all, all, all three catchers are gone. <laughs> so it'd have had to have been a dancer one turn anyway. Wow. Yeah, so with, uh, with six players... With a quick snap, maybe it was possible to do a catcher one. Plus against two. Plus against two stand firm as well. With a quick snap with a catcher, maybe it was possible with like seven, six or seven. But um, definitely not with movement eight and uh, two, two stand firm. Wow. And Eel won the toss, and uh, obviously, obviously chose to receive. So he's still got a complete full team. Only one. Oh, he's got two rerolls. He must have got the reroll from the kickoff. <gasps> wow! What an absolutely crucial kickoff result. Then I didn't even register that, but that's absolutely huge because with one reroll, there'd still be a lot that could go wrong, couldn't there? With like failed pickups and stuff, and he's obviously got the two guard to protect against the to the strip, but it's still going to be uphill. Um, like still even an uphill strip he's got to make him dodge as well as leap hasn't he and he's got to make it uphill and they both got one. Oh yeah of course they both got one yeah. but still it favours the guy with the less reward doesn't it perfect defence Not a lot Notorious Noob can do here, is there really? Just got to hope he gets a chance with, with one of the dancers. And then somehow... ...survives. I don't like I don't like blocking here. I would have I would have completely not cared about blocking and I would have just gone for the pickup. Yeah, I liked him out in the front actually to to block them off a bit. Yeah, I really don't like two blocks without block. When when the only chance you have of losing is basically failing the pickup or letting him hit the ball carrier like this wide cage is just bad because it gives him a one dicer potentially i mean okay he's got he's got he's got the venga bus cage a little bit but giving a block there for really no reason i mean he's not going to do anything with the tackle guy this turn Yeah, he's still, like, he's still got a, a chance, you know? Um, a human team with six players here would be done. 
a dwarf team or an orc team with six players would be done. <laughs> now obviously wood elves are more likely to go down to six players in those teams, but the beauty of them is they've still got a shot, haven't they? No matter how many players they've got on the pitch. Like, um, Eom has to play it's totally safe here. He has to have guard on the cage corners. He wants to screen the cage as well. He's not advancing too far forward, is he? I think that's okay. Try to thin out the team a little bit more. Um, you know, because the, the war dancer is such a threat and any player can just pick it up and pass to somebody else. Trying to, trying to thin out the team more is okay. Fouling, not, so, not such a good idea now because, it, you know, he'd be losing a player. You can't, these reserves aren't going to have an effect now. <laughs> yes, guy, tell him. Oh, I, I well remember my first game of the Rebel season. Yeah, what else? What else with a few players can always do stuff. Now, of course, he doesn't have a strength four war dancer, and he doesn't have an agility five player. But even even with rookies, with four players standing, you've still got to be, you know, really careful. I mean, not really careful, but you'd want to like say cage here, and then still screen off so that he can't. He really can't do anything. Yeah, he's gone, I think he's gone too far forward there. I think he's definitely gone too far forward because he's just given him a leap in instead of dodges and a leap. You know, I, I would have got the cage back. It's a bit, it's a bit tricky because the tree is in a kind of a bad spot. But I'd rather have the cage here with it screened off so that he can't, he can't just leap straight in. I wouldn't even blitz it. Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Try that one, sure. I guess he's. I guess he's got to make a dodge. But still, a dodge and a leap to uphill. A two plus dodge fucking and a three plus leap to uphill. Cunt of a fucking shithead! Fucking cunt! Cunt. That is fucking cunt. 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 Water. Fucking beast. I don't know, Shawnee. I I can't look because I'm doing this. If you get wait till it finishes, you don't have to do it all in one day, do you? Anyway, I can do it. When, I can do it when all the all the World Cup games are finished. Chorsler, Jim, I'll take there's like 500 people waiting for you to pick Chorfs in SFL. Fuck Sarke, Jim. Alright, I'll take Chorfs then. Put me down for Chorfs. But I do think there should be two of each race. 100% should be two of each race. Because I think it's, you know, you don't want to leave people with a race they don't like. You could go a full on nine man cage here. I wouldn't have hated that. Three, six, nine. He could have done the, he could have done the patented... He could have done the patented um, Russ Long, Russ Long defeating nine man cage. But um, that was this is again. He's giving him an uphill really easily, two plus, and then a leap. He should really have a kit like you know a screen out. Like for example, the wolf one square forward. And the fleshy over here, so he'd have to do dodges and a leap. You can't just give him a two plus dodge and a three plus leap to uphill. That's that's uh, well, that happens sometimes. That's really poor. He's still got re rerolls. He's still fighting for it. It's in the World Cup, you know. If it was a, if it was some kind of like Rebel League match, maybe he wouldn't bother. But he's obviously going to be fighting for everything. Oh my God! What a what a catch! <laughs> he catches it on a six. Oh no. We still got the reroll. You can do the GFI. Oh man. 
I don't, I don't really like the, hmm. I don't really like that. I guess it's good if he does the extra GFI and then he can screen him with a tree. And the next roll was a five, so he could have done the extra GFI. Without the extra GFI, that's a bit crap. He, maybe he should have gone for the GFI there. Because then if, if he does the GFI, he does get to screen it, doesn't he? Without the GFI, he's just completely exposed. I think he had to do the second GFI. Yeah, I think he, he had to have the, the lineman there, didn't he? He had to have the, the lineman there and him there. For the screen. Yeah, but he has... He has a 2D into a 2D and another 2D, doesn't he? Pushes him away, which seems a bit dangerous. I would have pushed him, you know, closer to all my players. Wow. Yeah, I think I think it would have been I think it would have been horrible, you know, horribly scary for, for Notorious New, but I think he had to have made that GFI last turn. Um But you know, you can't criticize him for that. He's had half his team killed. He's probably you know, it's hard for anyone not to be tilting off the face of the planet there. Um, much less making balls out two plus GFIs. But still, easy, easy sack here, isn't it? I mean, went that way. Why didn't he go out this way? To keep the movement, maybe, to get further away. Yeah, he still he still could. There's only three turns left. Notorious Noob could still get it at penalty kicks. Wow. Oh, he set up the chain though. That's 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 the right move, isn't it? He pushed his guy back rather than the dancer back though. Which ah, I guess if he's gonna go that way, fair enough. And then cage up. I would think I would have had. I think I would have had the guard over here, maybe. Just to, you know, for the chance of, if you do get powered, have someone close at the end zone. Run around the old two-man defense. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> but he still needs uh, three GFIs to score, doesn't he, with only one reroll? It's amazing that he hasn't had to use his reroll, to be fair. He only used his, what, his first reroll in like turn one of, second, of the second half? And then he, oh, he got the extra reroll, didn't he? And then he's still got one reroll left now. That's pretty, that's pretty lucky. Obviously the removal's crazy. I have three, three GFIs would be good. He probably wants to do two. I don't know if the other guy in front, just, you know, then you could have moved him six and uh, move the other guy first so he'd have another scoring threat. And now he's got, to, he's got to do the two GFIs. Oh my god, he's rolled a one. Oh my god, one there, he just doesn't score, does he? Whereas if the other guy was two squares in front, he would have moved the other guy first. And then, so the other white would have been stood here. So if he'd won that, he would have still had another chance. Wow. But now he's done the right thing of having, a, like, you know, a kind of a double screen. So there's not just a two plus and a leap like there was every other turn of the game. <laughs> And he fails the leap. What a uh, what a fitting end to the match. <laughs> An elf falling on his ass. Wow, that was that was brutal, Kaz, wasn't it? I think Ilm was very sloppy as well in some of the caging when he was up so many players. Um, you know, and Notorious Noob did what he could. 
with a few players he had, but ultimately the attrition just got him. I mean, the, the death was actually hugely important in Rez, wasn't it? Because it got him that extra reserve, which made him want to foul foul him all the time. Obviously, Notorious Noob, horribly unlucky on uh, on Kaz. One of the early favourites goes out, but um, yeah, the the Necro really, really, I think, got away with one there. I think the dice... The dice got him the win a little bit, but you know, there's still other people would have played Notorious Noob and got those dice and not won. So, you know, fair play to him. Unlucky for Noob though, for sure. And uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.